Okay, so my name is Mary Thompson and my ISP was based on the edible water bottles that we did as a lab in class and remember how we how horrible tasted they were and how yeah so pretty much I didn't change the water like most of what we did with that lab we changed it to like soda some changed it to flavoring I decided to focus on the water and the shells so I took calcium lactate calcium chloride and then I also combined the two and I also did a pressure test that's what these three are, they're based off of pressure tests that I built this pressure thing, however my dog ate that once it got home, so yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. So when I was doing the experiment, I did what we did in class, however I would use calcium lactate and then calcium chloride. The interesting thing about calcium chloride was that it was, um, really it had a really bitter taste like it was worse than the calcium lactate that we used in class and then it also did worse on my pressure test which was very interesting about that um because it was more it felt more bitter and more like stable than the calcium lactate however of course both did much better than uh, most calcium the uh separate and yeah, um, my, hypo my hypothesis was that um, obviously the, cal the one fourth sodium chloride, I sodium alginate, excuse me, sodium alginate would do better than the one eighth. However, what happened was the sodium alginate with the one fourth was worse than the one eighth sodium alginate. And then if I could do this experiment again, I'd probably definitely fo focus on um, doing more of the orbs, more of the edible water bottles and that, than just um, two groups or like three in one, one uh, bottle thing. I'd do like 20, maybe even 50, and also get a better pressure tester. And then yeah, this could also help with getting rid of plastic water bottles because there's about uh, 10.8 million pounds of plastic water bottles just floating out there right now in the ocean. And yeah. <laughs>